Hi, I'm Chad with Move for Guitar. This lesson is from our series Chords for Beginners. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play an open C add 9 chord. So here's an open C add 9 chord. And the fingering for this chord is your second finger on the fifth string, third fret. Your first finger reaches down towards the floor underneath that to the fourth string, second fret. And then your third finger reaches down towards the floor to the second string, third fret. And then your fourth finger goes right underneath that towards the floor on the first string, third fret. And with this chord, you're not playing the sixth string because if you leave that in, the chord gets pretty muddy. So what you want to do is mute out the sixth string with your second finger. So you just let the tip of your second finger lightly touch underneath on this sixth string and it mutes it out and keeps it from ringing out. And if you're able to do that, then you can strum through all the strings and not worry about hitting the sixth string. So just lightly reach the tip of your second finger up underneath this string and just lightly touch it. Don't push down on it to make a note ring out and that'll mute it out. And with this chord you're going to have your second finger and your first finger up towards the front of the fret near the fret wire and your fourth finger will be the same. It'll be up towards the front of the fret near the fret wire but your third finger is going to be back in the fret a little bit because your fourth finger is in the way. Those two fingers are just going to touch together like that. And the reason you have the other fingers towards the front of the fret is because the closer you are to the fret wire without being on top of it, the less pressure you have to push down on the, the less pressure you have to push on the string, and it's easier to push down on that string and get the note to ring out clearly. If you're back in the fret like this, you're going to get buzzing, and you're going to have to use a lot more pressure. But it's not possible with this chord with your third finger. You're just going to have to let it touch your fourth finger, and it's going to be back in the fret a little bit. So you just might have to put a little bit extra pressure with that third finger. But you'll get used to it, and eventually it'll just be natural to you. So with this, you want to be on the tips of your fingers. Have a nice arc in your knuckle here. Don't be bent back like this at all. And make sure that you don't hear any of this. If you hear any of that, you just need to keep adjusting your fingers until you can get all the notes to ring out clearly, and eventually it'll become easy to you. And if you'd like to get the diagram for this chord, as well as a bunch of other beginner chords, you can click the link on the screen, and it'll take you to an e-guide that you can download for free. And in this e-guide, like I said, it has this chord, has a whole bunch of other beginner chords for you to learn, and just nice diagrams showing you what fingers to use. And it also has chord progression. So I take the chords that are in the e-guide and I put them together in sequences of two, three, four, whatever, how many ever chords into chord progressions. But you can play those chords together and have a nice chord progression. They sound good together and it's what you do to create songs. So it's not just giving you a bunch of random chords that you don't know what to do with. Um, I actually show you how to put different ones together and get nice sounds out of them. So if you'd like that e-guide, just click the link on the screen. And like I said, you can download that for free. So that's an open C add 9 chord.